My whole childhood upbringing was a struggle to put food on the table and even just to get by. I didn't resonate with the traditional methods of education and I was expelled from every school that I went to. I fell into crime because that was the only way I knew how to make money and all I ever wanted to do was to buy the things that I never had. I was once told that there are two types of smart in this world. There's book smart and there's street smart. But the reality is, in society, book smart will always prevail. But possessing the two, you'll be unstoppable. You know, there was a time in my life when I felt unstoppable anyway. I didn't need the books because I was making enough money doing crime. But everything catches up to you eventually. And I ended up getting sentenced to 13 years in prison for directing a criminal enterprise. In prison, I somehow ended up sharing a cell with a billionaire accountant who not only taught me accounting every day, but he taught me about business, the value of education, and most importantly, about self-worth. It's ironic how I found my first positive mentor in a prison, and we're still friends today. He told me that he was a UNSW alumni, and going to university was a challenge that I wanted to take on to change my life. I heard of this senior lecturer for banking and finance at UNSW, Dr. Natalie O, who helped other inmates in the past get accepted into UNSW and through her help, they all ended up graduating, one of them becoming a chartered accountant, the other doing their PhD in finance and the other becoming an investment banker. I wanted to be a part of this organization who provided opportunities for people for what they could become rather than where they came from and I reached out to Dr. Natalie O while I was inside. From when I first got locked up to when I got sentenced and pretty much my whole time in prison, I didn't even shed a tear because I accepted the consequences of my actions. But there was that one time when the education officer in prison handed me the letter of acceptance from UNSW. <laughs> I broke down in tears because I made something that was beyond the realms of my reality come true through hard work and self-belief. It's ironic how the most amazing moment happened in the most darkest time of my life. You know, I felt a greater sense of freedom that day, more than the day when I got released from prison. When I got out of prison, I found out a fitness business called Confit, which stands for Convict Fitness, which aims to help others who have been released from jail. But I didn't know where to start. I remember taking my first lecture at uni, creating social change. The lecturer at the time, Dr. Ali Walker, was talking about recidivism rates, homelessness, and disadvantaged societies in Australia. And I had to talk to her after that lecture. She introduced me to the Center for Social Impact and Confit eventually became a case study for an MBA program, which helped me to formulate what Confit is today, a social enterprise with the mission to reduce recidivism through fitness. I'm honored to be a part of the Founders Program at UNSW, who helped me to build a strong foundation for Confit and to be able to scale the impact that we have on society. This couldn't have been possible without the right mentors that I met on this journey and the tools provided by UNSW. From directing a criminal enterprise, now I'm directing a social enterprise. Not only saving taxpayer dollars through reducing recidivism and diverting those savings into more programs, educations and hospitals, but more importantly, empowering the lives of the disadvantaged. The only difference between criminal and social are the right mentors and support networks along the way. I believe in a society that merits an individual, not based on social norms or their troubled past, but rather on the vision of where they're going, because everyone deserves a second chance.